Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. So welcome Libras. This is going to be a look at your person's feelings about you. We're going to actually look at their headspace, heart space, what their soul is telling them about them, and then the action they will take in the 3D towards you. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I decided, or I was actually called to do another round of Zodiac readings. I haven't done them in a while. Um, you could be dealing with someone with brown eyes, or you could have brown eyes. I forgot to mention, we also have butterfly on the bottom, transformation, glow up, beautiful change. So you could be someone who's going through a beautiful transformation right now, and perhaps this person is feeling that they're, you know, being attracted to your energy, but we'll see. Um, you know, take, take it as it resonates. This won't resonate with every Libra out there, but now we have blue eyes. So blue eyes, brown eyes could be symbolic. So let's get into my Libras. So this is supposed to help us look at how this person is feeling about this connection. So this person actually could be feeling like there's been some type of transfer transformation between you or they could be looking at this connection differently with that glow up card we have past life so this is how they're feeling about you and I'm hearing I think it's past life by the Arkells but don't quote me on that um I'm hearing a song about a past life anyway so this person is feeling like you have a soul tie like you've met before past life karma and we have obstacles, blockages, detours, delays. So it feels like this is the energy of, you know, this is the energy of this person feels like you probably met in every lifetime, but never worked it out. You know, um, I'm hearing like maybe in another lifetime. It's also possible that this person, you know, is feeling like there's blockages here, especially if you're in no contact, maybe you have them blocked, um, whatever the situation is, this person feels like there's a wall there, yet they feel this soul connection with you. So let's see how this person is feeling about you. We have awakening and it's interesting because we have that butterfly. So it's possible that this person is going through a transformation we have spiritual awakening rebirth. So it feels like this person is experiencing, you know, if they're not spiritual, then this person is realizing something about this connection. This is, you know, if it's not a spiritual awakening, this is judgment energy. I mean, if I mean, it is a spiritual awakening, but this person may not see it as a spiritual awakening. Like they might, they may not be into all of this. They may not, um, label it as a spiritual awakening but as a moment of realization or an epiphany or anyway you get the drift but rebirth energy beautiful so this person is feeling you know maybe even like they have a different outlook on this um you could have like i you know you could have contributed to this person's spiritual awakening or growth in some way um, I was hearing the, the example of you could have helped this person. You could have, um, you could have encouraged this person with some type of project in their life. Anyway, we have situationship. What are we? No label uncertain. So yeah, it feels like there's a wall up. This person doesn't quite know what you are. Maybe this never had a label. Maybe this person is reflecting on... Uh, what this connection meant. Maybe this person has regrets that it was never anything more. <clears throat> My throat's closing over communication. Uh, we have codependency. So there could have been codependency in this connection. You could have anxiously attached to them and they could have avoided or vice versa. Um, it could be that, you know, this person is feeling like Maybe they felt a codependent attachment to you and it scared them, you know? Maybe they didn't want to feel attached to anyone. For some of you, maybe this person was already attached to someone else. But anyway, let's keep going. 
We have thoughtful. So this person is feeling like you're thoughtful, kind, considerate. Um, with the thoughtful card here, I always see six of pentacles. So it could have been that this, it could be that this person is feeling like they could have given you more of their energy. They could have done more in this connection. And we have rejection, unwanted, left out in the cold, lonely. I have to say though, that was in reverse. Um, but anyway, so that makes me feel like somebody might be coming out of the cold. It feels like this person is thinking about how they rejected you or how you rejected them. Take it as it resonates. And I think it, you know, these two came out together. So this is someone who thinks a lot about how they made someone who was so giving, you know, Libra, very balanced, um how they made you feel like you weren't enough or like that wasn't enough for you or they rejected that love, you know? I feel like this person feels like they had that love with you and they let it slip away. Um, we have vibration, raise your vi vibration energy shift. Interesting. So let's keep going. How is this person feeling about you? Obsessed. Can't get you off of their mind. <clears throat> my throat so I did see that earlier I forgot to mention it um, two of cups energy um, this person is you know thinking about asking you out this person is thinking about asking you out on a date or out to coffee or to have a conversation we have crush on the bottom so this is someone who's like they have transformed because they're no longer looking at this as they're no longer pushing this away they're wanting to come towards you they're they're feeling very attracted to you right now <clears throat> so we do have this person a bit obsessed with you right now you're always on their mind if you are spiritual work spiritual work if you are spiritual they could fear that you put some type of spell on them because they cannot stop thinking about you um like they cannot stop thinking about you. You're always on their mind. And it feels like they're feeling called to ask you out here. Or like I said, have a conversation. Um, coffee could be symbolic memories with coffee. This person, like we have coffee lover shop. So coffee shop. Um, maybe there was, you know, someone works at a coffee shop. Anyway, take it as it resonates. Maybe you just love coffee, you know. Maybe you're obsessed with coffee. Okay, so I did grab this deck. And on the bottom of the deck, before we begin, we have the Four of Cups. So this is someone who's feeling like you're a missed opportunity here. Like they really missed a chance having this thoughtful, you know, reciprocal connection. Um, this person could be feeling, you know, like they took you for granted. But we're going to shuffle. So let's shuffle. We've got the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, this person, you know, work could be related in some way. But this person, as far as feelings, uh, this is someone who's, you know, grounding themselves. They see the investment in you. You know, they see long-term investment with you. We have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands shows you know, inspiration, inspiration to reach out, inspiration to take you out for coffee. It can also be a bit of, you know, a spiritual, like this person could really be feeling a spiritual pull towards you. We have the Ace of Swords, clarity and communication, a breakthrough moment. And that's what I meant about the transformation and then the puppy love. It's like this is someone who is now, um, what was I just saying? What card made me think of that? The Ace of Swords. This is someone who is now having clarity about this connection and wanting to come back towards you. We have the Five of Wands, so there's conflict here. Um, and sun. So this person's conf conflicted about bringing you clarity. They're conflicted about coming towards you. I feel like maybe there's, remember that blockage card. So it's like this person, 
feels this connection with you, but something's blocking them or something was blocking them. Perhaps they needed to have an awakening, um, but we're going to get into it. Their overall feelings for you right now. What are their overall feelings for you right now? We have Ace of Pentacles, three aces in a row, one, one, one. Um, interesting. So Ace of Pentacles, they're feeling potential here. They're feeling like investing in this. They're feeling like they want a fresh start. This is an offer of something stable. You know, like I said, maybe this connection never got past situationship. Maybe it was always kind of like didn't have a label. There could have been a lot of conflict with that Five of Wands. Um, we have the Page of Wands for overall feelings, and that's what, exactly what I was talking about. In, they're feeling inspired to take action towards you. They're feeling inspired to come towards you and exchange energy with you and ask you how you are and take you out for a coffee or something. If you're at a distance, it could just be, you know, an, you know social interaction, I'm hearing. The Knight of Swords... And the Two of Cups. See, Two of Cups. I was just saying it. This is someone who, Knight of Swords, is feeling very much like they need to talk to you, like they need to get something off their chest. <clears throat> All right. Um, let's see their head space, so their thoughts and mental space. So what, are, what is their mental space telling them right now? Their brain. We have judgment and it's coming up in reverse. Very interesting. So this shows that this is someone who's their ego, their mind has been fighting this connection, fighting it. We have the seven of wands and you see this image right here. So their brain, their mental mind, um, they could, they could have been looking at this connection very logically, especially if it's a spiritual connection past life. It means, you know, that there could be something very, there could be something about this connection that doesn't make logical sense. And this person's headspace, their mind has been pushing away this awakening that's supposed to be happening or that is happening. Um, I'm actually just going to look here denial um and their mind if you and this person fought a lot this is saying that they blamed you um unfair like they had no they shouldn't have been blaming you but it's like they projected blame back onto you take it as it resonates that's what's coming through seven of wands very defensive um this is their mental space remember so this is how they were mentally looking at this we're gonna get into it um, just because they're, they're fee like their mind is telling them this doesn't mean that's what they're listening to. But their ego is trying to fight this. And again, this person could have, you know, placed blame on you instead of taking accountability. Um, again, denying this connection, denying the awakening, denying the spiritual aspect of this connection. What is their heart space saying? What is their heart space saying? Nine of wands in reverse. Interesting. It feels like this person's heart space is telling them to let their, they're feeling like letting their guard down. They're feeling like, um, interesting. Nine of wands is an energy of self. Nine of wands in reverse can also be a energy of self-improvement. So right now this person's intuition Sorry, not their intuition. Their heart, I mean, kind of the same thing. But their heart is telling them that they need to work on themselves. They need to look at some of the ways that they push people away, some of their maybe wounds from childhood. And their heart space is telling them that there's something very special with you here. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, their heart space is telling them that there's a future here but that it's going to take time. It's going to take work on their part. It's going to take self-improvement on their part. And their heart is telling them to go slowly. So that's what we have coming through there. And remember, all of these things, their mind, their heart, their soul, um, what spirit is telling them to do. 
Just because their mind is telling them to deny it doesn't mean that's what they're going to continue to do. But I, I'm really happy to see that this person's heart space is telling them to take things slowly. And that I shouldn't even take that card because it's bottom of the deck energy. But that there is a future here, but they need to work on themselves first. Um, you know, this could have been someone with codependent attachment styles, or you could have had that, had that. I just heard that. So I'm actually going to get one more for their heart space. We have the Hierophant spiritual connection. So their heart space is telling them to, I'm hearing surrender to the spiritual aspect of this connection. Their heart space is telling them, you know, that's your spiritual person. You can commit to this person, marriage, um, beautiful energy. So let's see what spirit, their soul, feels and thinks about you. How does their soul feel and think about you? We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, so their, their soul feels like this is destined. Their soul feels like you have a destined path together. That's why we had that past life soul tie connection. Their soul tells them, you know, that they need to make adjustments and they need to make changes and they need to get on a better path that, you know, cycles need to end. There needs to be healing. Their soul tells them that you are, you can help them. It's interesting. I'm hearing that line from as good as it gets you and I'm going to make it gender neutral, but you make me want to be a better person. Um, their soul and their spirit looks at you and says that person deserves the best, you know, nine of pentacles. I feel like this person's soul is drawn to your soul. And I feel like you inspire this person to improve and be better. Um, beautiful energy. You could have been, I'm not sure why I felt it, but when I was shuffling that out, what their soul feels about you, I almost felt anxiety or like you were scared about what the cards were going to say about that. Take it as it resonates, but I was feeling a little bit of, a, of that. So we're going to see what action is going on in the real world in terms of this connection. What action is going on? We have the Eight of Swords, separation, overthinking. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this person does know your worth. But right now, this person is, you know, working on bettering themselves, nurturing themselves. I also feel like Queen of Pentacles is symbolic that that could be what you're doing, you know, that you are not chasing this person, that you're kind of just attracting an abundance here. But Eight of Swords, you know, this person, that's no contact. That's, um, you know, this person's mind really... They could be trapped in their mind and it's causing them not to reach out. And that's also the energy, you know, that's the energy that can push you into an awakening or into a dark night of the soul. So I want to see what I'm actually just going to switch over here to their intentions and future actions, because this is like right now. So let's look at their intentions towards this connection. We have the Chariot and the Six of Wands. So again, this person does see a future with you. And I feel like their mind is the only thing holding them back here. Um, they do intend to come towards you. And Six of Wands on the bottom, you know, they intend to have success with you, triumph. Um, after possibly, you know, a lot of self-improvement with that Nine of Wands in reverse. Let's see um, future action they will take towards this connection. Ace of Wands. The Hermit, Three of Wands. Interesting. We have a bunch coming out. So their future actions, after a period of holding back and self-reflection, this, this is going to be someone who comes towards you. Three of Wands, Ace of Wands. This is going to be someone who comes out of that cave after they've done that self-improving. 
Nines are very some like nines are very um they're coming up a lot in your reading. So nine could be symbolic to you, but nines are also about self-growth and improvement and embodying your higher self. So it feels like after this person works on themselves, they take action towards you. They do take they take the steps to come towards you, three of wands. And Ace of Wands in itself is action. Three of Wands is them wanting to progress forward with you, which is the chariot as well, which are their intentions. So I just want to see what advice you need about this situation. Wait, yeah, let's look at advice. We have Six of Wands. So there is success here after, you know... After a journey is what I'm hearing. There is the potential of success here. Um, and we have Page of Wands. So it does show that this person will take inspired action towards you. I feel like right now your person is, you know, battling their ego, battling that mind. And, you know, the longer they push off that spiritual awakening, the more the universe will push back. Um, they'll get there is what I'm hearing. Look, we have justice on the bottom. See? And I was hearing universe push back. I was hearing karma, karma, karma. So, you know, your advice is that the scales will balance. You will have justice here. Um, but like I said, this person just needs to get over their mind. Look, we have the emperor. So this person is going to take action towards you and bring justice to this situation. So let's see messages from your person. What does your person want you to know? We have the Three of Cups. So uh, it's, it's really interesting because I was hearing social exchange when I said, if you're at a distance, this person just wants to like exchange with you socially. Three of Cups. So this person does miss your friendship. This person thinks about reaching out to you. Um, this person, you know, this is, you know, a message from them. So they, again, they miss your friendship. They miss that energy that you brought to their life. We also have the Eight of Pentacles here, which is about them not only working on themselves, bettering themselves for this connection, but also about wanting a renewal here. Let's get another one. Yeah, we have Page of Swords. So this person's coming through. They're trying to learn about themselves. They're trying to learn more about Maybe some of the ways they act in relationships, some of those, this person could have had a lot of baggage that they brought to this connection. Um, this is someone keeping an eye on you online. So you could be, you know, attracting a lot of attention right now, especially with the nine of pentacles energy. It feels like this person is drawn to looking at you, drawn to watching you. Very interesting because I pulled out this crush card, which talks about attraction Right underneath, we have fate, meant to be trust, divinely guided. So this person does truly feel like this connection is meant to be. Let's get one more. Oh, look, eight of wands, messages from your person. This person wants to talk to you. This person wants to come towards you. This person is, I'm hearing they're trying to make huge steps in their growth so that they can come back towards you here especially if they self-sabotage this connection let's just get one more card from your person we have page of pentacles look at all this page energy it's like this person wants to come towards you but perhaps they're feeling you know like they're not quite ready but page of pentacles this is someone planning a new beginning this is someone putting you know down-to-earth steps into growth here for this new beginning. And we have the Nine of Cups, messages from your person. This person feels like you're their wish fulfillment. Anyway, that's what we have for you, my friends. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you lots of, lots of love and light, my Libras, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!